In this video, we'll talk about debunking the myths. There are many different myths about the vegan community that perpetrate society. Some of them are large myths that have spread to the far corners of the world, and some of them are lesser known myths that could wreak havoc on the community if believed by the general public. We're here to introduce you to these myths right before we debunk them completely. Myth number one. Vegans don't get enough protein in their diets. This is simply false. While meat and things like eggs and milk are major sources of protein, they are not the only ones. Many of our beloved vegetables have protein, like spinach. One cup of uncooked spinach has around 7 grams of protein. Nut butter has 8 grams of protein per 2 tablespoons. Quinoa has around 9 grams of protein per cooked cup. And one cup of cooked lentils packs a whopping 18 grams of protein. Many research studies have shown, in fact, that both vegans and traditional eaters are usually getting too much protein in their diets. Myth number two. If you can't eat meat then you can't build muscle to become strong. There is so much false in this statement, it's unbelievable. Things like hemp powder and dairy-deprived whey protein sources pack incredible volumes of protein, just like those traditional protein shakes that are beloved to bodybuilders. And the foods listed previously are perfect meat protein replacements when it comes to taking in the required amount of protein in order to build and keep muscle strong. However, another myth also flows into this point as well. It is possible to get the recommended amount of calcium into a vegan diet without drinking and eating dairy products that will enable someone to keep muscles and bones healthy for the long term. Things like raw nuts, calcium fortified hemp milk, and cooked greens like broccoli and kale have great amounts of calcium in them per serving. Myth number three, vegans are weak. First off, what? Secondly, no. NFL defensive lineman David Carter, a six-time Ironman champion John Joseph, and the tennis sisters Venus and Serena Williams are all vegans. Need I say more? Myth number four. Vegan diets are not healthy. If fruits, vegetables, non-GMO products, no MSG, and lack of meat and dairy are somehow unhealthy, then you've got me here. However, I highly doubt a diet that comes recommended by oncologists for certain cancer patients is unhealthy. Not only does a vegan lifestyle afford the body more opportunities to acquire micro and macro nutrients the body needs to operate and survive, it also helps to flush out the toxins and free radicals that have built up within the body that have been deposited by overprocessed foods, grain-fed animal meats, and even over-pasteurized dairy products. Myth number five, you will have to supplement holes in your diet with vitamins if you go vegan, which will end up costing you more money. All right, let's break this one down. Supplements for holes in the diet. A vegan diet has been scientifically researched and measured against dozens of other diets, and it's come out on top time and time again as the most nutrient-dense diet on the planet. The only reason people who attempt a vegan eating lifestyle and end up having to supplement with vitamins is because simply cutting out animal products and dairy is only half the battle. The other part is then replacing those things you've removed with things you can then ingest. The idea of supplements costing you money, which makes a vegan diet somehow unattainable because of the hit your pocketbook takes, is simply absurd. A basic multivitamin that houses anywhere between 30 and 60 once a day pills is anywhere between 12 and 15 US dollars on the market. Would you like to tally up how much you currently spend in takeout or fast food? If you adopt the vegan lifestyle and remove animal products and dairy, then you have to make sure you replace those foods. Try other fruits and experiment with other vegetables. 
Try to broaden your taste buds. And as you do this, you will be finding other sources of vital nutrients and vitamins that were otherwise absent from your diet. Myth number six, veganism is an eating disorder. No, 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 and no. First of all, veganism is a lifestyle, while vegan is a way of eating. Veganism is a lifestyle that seeks to exclude all forms of animal cruelty and exploitation. This includes not eating animal products and byproducts, not purchasing clothing made from animal skins, and boycotting news and media outlets that either support or take no stance against animal cruelties. Vegan is the eating lifestyle whereby animal products, byproducts, and dairies are removed from the diet and replaced with suitable fruits, vegetables, and fortified non-dairy products in order to maintain bodily health and promote a healthy lifestyle. An eating disorder is a mentally based condition that surfaces in physical manifestations of control resulting in an incredibly unhealthy treatment of the body. Myth number seven, veganism is white. Apparently, some people believe that a vegan eating lifestyle and veganism in general is something that is only perpetrated and truly adopted in white upper middle class communities. So because of this, many people believe that vegans are somehow racist in nature, which is absolute and utter nonsense. How do I know this? Well, refer back to myth number three. If you're not familiar with any of who those athletes are, then we will sit back and wait for you to look them up really quickly. Did you do it? Good. Okay, moving on. Myth number eight. Vegans only eat eight vegetables and the food tastes horrendous. Well, now that's just insulting. Vegans eat all sorts of things, including vegetables, raw nuts, all sorts of fruits, non-dairy fortified milks and drinks, freshly squeezed juices, and hemp powder proteins. They're just a few of the foods vegans take in regularly. A plant-based diet is not a diet of salads. It's a diet of anything that is grown in plant form. This means potatoes, fresh herbs and spices, bananas, grapes, and virtually anything else that grows on a plant is consumable on this diet. Luckily enough, these are the same ingredients that can be used to make spicy bean chilies, hearty stews, sweet potato lasagnas, and even pizza. Now, that sounds pretty yummy to me. The myths perpetrated in the public sector are usually myths concocted by the media. They swing stories for their benefit in an attempt to garner ratings and attention without giving any thought to the detriment they're doing to society as a whole. Many people have been led away from adopting a vegan lifestyle because of the things they have seen on the news that are simply not true. The myths above are just a handful of the myths perpetrated over the decades since plant-based diets have surged back into the public eye. And it's important to understand that these myths are not only false, but preposterous. However, if debunking these myths still have you wondering if you'll be able to stay physically fit on this type of eating lifestyle, then the next chapter is for you. In this next chapter, we will outline many major athletes who have fully adopted a vegan eating lifestyle who are exponentially stronger than you.